everyone, welcome to Toy Break episode 238. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Sarah Jo. And I'm the fucking suck lord. <laughs> that guy. Wow, he used to be the super suck lord. <laughs> He's tired. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm fucking on fire. <laughs> this is going to be the best episode. <laughs> so in case you're wondering, welcome to Toy Break. We're your weekly internet show featuring reviews and news all about the wonderful world of toys, including, but not limited to, designer vinyl, action figures, plush, collectibles, events, how-tos, everything in the wonderful world of toys. <laughs> Let's start out, as always, by thanking our site sponsors, like Dragatomi, Tenacious Toys, Puppet Heap, A World of Stories on Your Hand, Fuzzy Balls Apparel, ESC Toy, ESC Toy, More Art Than Toy, Superpower Collectibles, DKE Toys, Mr. Toast, 3D Retro, Paysaber, Grumpy Bert, Happy Panda Toys, Black Sheep Button Company, Button Lab, and Art Attack Toys. Yay! Thank you to all of our sponsors. Go check out toybreak.com. Links to all of them. Check out their wares, their toys, their apparel. Everything they have is awesome. Also, thank you so much for donations. We have several okay, go to for thank it. people for it. John from Florida, Emil from California, Ty from Oregon, Brennan from Alaska, Thomas from New Mexico, and Matt from California. Look at that map. How's that awesome. map doing? It's blowing up. It's blowing up. It's getting purple all over itself. Alaska! We got it. Ah! Do we have a Hawaii? Can we get bring that into the fold? Uh, I don't think we have. Oh, Scott should have donated while he was there. I know we have some viewers in Hawaii. Hmm. Can you just donate hmm. while you're there, even though you live from somewhere no, else? No, that doesn't count. Yeah, Would does. you like to tell us what contest we have going on right now? It's the signed Matt Draining contest. All you have to do to enter is head over to the contest section on the Toy Break forum and tell us your favorite Simpsons character in the contest section. Deadline is November 21st. Win it. Excellent. And also, we just had two other contests in, the Nitro Mites and the Grab Zags. Oh, good. And uh, please check your Facebook email. If your name is Cooper, Clint, Josh, or Nicholas, be sure to check your Facebook messages because I have messaged you. I haven't got any replies yet. It takes some time. People don't want their stuff. One guy on Facebook took an entire summer to get back to me. That's well, a long time. Before he got back to me. And told All right. Me he I'll won. trust that you guys are still out there somewhere. All right. So we have these amazing guests in honor of something coming up very soon. Countdown to Decon. Whoa. <laughs> We're going to have to save that for next year. <laughs> We don't. We can't run it enough now. We'll have I think, to save it. But instead of lightning, I think you did fireworks. <laughs> well, it's November. Oh yeah. Huh. I don't know. Is what that, that fireworks is in November? It is for us. <laughs> All right. So we have some amazing things. Uh, what do we do? We, do we have that thing? Yeah. Can you reach it? I can. It's right here. Can you show us what, what it is? is? This is an official Decon Mini Tendo. How cute! Check I didn't know out. it was so cute and small. That's what she. <laughs> Oh, oh, you don't want I hate her to when say I hear that. that. <laughs> so this it, is what this does it is, do? It stands. So it's just an you anthropomorphic can blow action figure. Like uh, it's an Nintendo articulated puppet. action figure. That's cool. It uh, doesn't actually have a game on it, does it? No. 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 It's oh, by Squid Kids cool. Inc. and the artwork is by Scott Tolleson, who did all the logos for Decon. And it's limited to fifty pieces, and it's twenty dollars at Decon booth six hundred, which is Squid Kids Inc. I'm guessing. Yes. And do you want to know what else is available for $20 at Decon? I do. Tell us. Boom. Collector coins. Antique silver this year. It's a set. Because that's amazing. And one is done by Brant Peters and the other by Kathy Olivas. Or Kathy Peters and Brant Olivas. It can go either way. Whatever. <laughs> can it? Sure. They go together. It's real metal. Ah. What kind of metal is it? <laughs> is it pewter or some shit? I think it's pewter. I think you're right. I think it is pewter and then it's plated. Plated with what? <laughs> Antique silver. No so, shit, huh? Yeah. What are these things worth? Twenty dollars. <laughs> you know what it makes me want to do is like play with um, silly putty. Oh, and, and stick like press it on it there in? and then peel it off, and you would have a cool little. So if silly I put a bunch of these in like my safety deposit box, and then after civilization collapses, will this be it will legal be the new tender? Yeah, it will be the new, new currency. Yeah, designer All decon coins. coins. <laughs> And new world order decon <laughs> and these will be available at the decon booth 100 right as you walk in the door feel free to uh, pass your money over and grab a set for yourself that's convenient also for the end of times if you have a few minutes before Which for the is end of times any minute now apparently <laughs> like new york's going to be wiped off the map and i'm not going to have anything to go home to I that's think California goes first, just don't we? Just stay out here. No, they're getting hit with what, oh, they're, what yeah. they're calling Frankenstorm or something. The perfect storm. It's like the archetypical storm. Is that going to hit while you're here? Like yeah. during Decon? Mm hmm Oh, good. So you got, we'll all the artists will be safe in at Decon. So by the time this goes up, there might not be a New York. 
It'll there'll be some <laughs> vestige of New York, but I don't know. I think it can take it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. So also, if you have a few minutes before decon, go check out the Color Ink book decon coloring contest. All you have to do is download a very special image provided by Color Ink book and Dan Goodsell, aka Mr. Toast. Color it. Bring it to the booth, 105, and you get a free ticket for the decon drawing. Dang, can I do it? Everybody, yes, everybody wins. I love coloring. Everybody and wins or up. everybody can do it? Everybody wins a ticket. Okay. To win. <laughs> to win. To win. You and win also, a chance to win. And there's so many more exclusives and events and vendors and exciting things happening. Please go to designercon.com for the most up-to-date list of demonstrations and events and things that are going Happening. To be happening. There's so many things. We have a guy doing a reticulation demonstration. What the hell is reticulation? Exactly, right? It's cutting things. <laughs> like what? Like f wrists and forearms? Yeah. <laughs> Paper? It's going to be extravagant. Vinyl toys. Like, um, like Carson Keys? Catlin. Carson Catlin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Carson Catlin. So he's going to teach us how to make the shit that he makes. Yeah. And then he'll, We're gonna be, at, and then he'll be out of business. Yes. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> He's a nice guy. He's a too nice. That's the problem. But so one of the biggest events that's happening at DesignerCon is SuckCon. Is it? Hey, that sounds a lot like your name. I think it's a convention dedicated to psychedelic related things. Well, now tell us about that. I'm not running it. I don't know anything <laughs> about it. That's why I'm it's sitting this, here. Yay. This guy thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, though. It is cool. Well, well SuckCon runs all day at DesignerCon, and it is uh, free with your entrance to DesignerCon. It's Con. sort of like it's, a it's parasite on the ass of DesignerCon. <laughs> That's how I think of it's it. It's even back in the corner yeah. like that. A, a pink parasite. Yeah. <laughs> but just down aisle 100, in the back corner, you mm -hmm. will find SuckCon. Yay. Yeah, just right around booth number 124. There'll be signs. You'll see it. There'll be signs, and there'll be people in bright pink t-shirts. Nice. It's going to look like the Barbie aisle at Toys R Us there's where you walk in and it's all pink. There's t-shirts, <laughs> too? There, of course there are. You better make sure Dove gets one of those. <laughs> He'll get number one. Yeah. <laughs> That's because Dove is number one. And two, because he gonna gets one in the package. He's going to if he doesn't have one. <laughs> two of everything. <laughs> so Decon runs 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. It does. As does SuckCon. But we have some timed things going on. So at 10 a.m., uh, we're releasing the Super Suck Up figures, which um, you guys may have seen. I've been blogging away like a maniac as soon as I get the information. I've been putting it up at dktoys.com slash blog. Oh, 10 a.m. That's so early. Oh, but don't worry. We'll be, we'll be there earlier than that. But at 10 a.m. <laughs> we're going to release the Super Suck Up figures. And these are 16 uh, different editions of, of 50 of pieces each. Oh, George is in charge of those. And they're $100 each. We brought some here for you guys to see. Ooh. Completed. Just moments ago fresh off the presses hot off the presses here's the frank kozik ooh, one. Ooh, 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 look at that look, look at that. that look at that look, look at, at this that. one these ah. are pretty funny actually now that ah. i think about it so. Ah. <laughs> so the artists include billions mcmillions buff monster drill one dr a ferg frank kozik jason freeney lamour supreme luke chu october toys ah. paul kaiju scott tollison scott wilkowski skinner O'Neill Design, and this guy. Oh, hey, you did something for it, too? I did one as well, nice. yes. <laughs> yes, I did. You did one. So uh, all these artists this is awesome. took this Sucklord figure, customized it themselves, like this buff monster you see has a lovely buff monster ice cream head. Which nice. George sculpted and cast, right? He did. True. It's all in the family around here. Give the guy some here. fucking props already. <laughs> in the family or incest? It's <laughs> all... First wife, second wife, it makes no matter. difference. <laughs> so, uh, and, and the Suck Lord made the packaging. He designed. I all designed of this. it, but they were manufactured by Sidekick Labs, the guys that the guy that does the trading cards, art hustle, and all that. Look how chunky they are. I like, I like them. Fucking nice, man. Yeah, I like it. I like and, them a lot. Yeah, they're good, man. I wanted to blow my brains out while I was working on all these packages, but now that I see them in person, all done, it's not bad. I'm glad you stu <laughs> stuck it out. Pretty cool. Pretty fucking cool. I think everybody's glad you I stuck mean, it I out. I had to figure out, figure out a way how to diss each individual artist on their own terms. And I think, I think I did a pretty good job. Here, I'll read the back of the Frank Kozik one. <clears throat> <clears throat> Chrono Pussy. Imagine if Frank Kozik was suddenly given all kinds of fucked up powers that he could use to, like, fucking destroy or fuck everything he hates. Right now, he's too old and smokes too much to do any kind of real damage. 
he just kind of grumbles and makes you feel awkward. But if he had some kind of juiced up octopus DNA injected into him and he turned into this thing, suddenly all his vague and muted contempt would turn into a full-blown mass of tentacle fucking. I bet you would all love that, wouldn't you, you fucking perverts? That's, pretty, <laughs> that's amazing. That's pretty good, right? It's amazing. <laughs> he's so not old, though. I was kidding. Just for a hundred dollars. But he's useless. Could be yours. <laughs> no, he's not useless. I'm just saying, you know. Let's read Buff Monsters. Oh, yeah, is his your favorite because it's pink? No, not particularly. Although it's an exceptionally nice figure. It looks pretty good. This one's called Ice Cream and Heavy Metal and Hello Kitty and Titties and Fuck Yeah. Because that's... I wanted to distill the essence of every artist into the sort of bare elements. And that's you know? what you came up with. Well, you know, when they say if you like took all the water out of a human being there's like six dollars worth of chemicals mostly carbon and stuff like right. that i wanted to do that with <laughs> buff monster and, and that's once, what's once in I, him? One, yeah once i dehydrated him this is what was left <laughs> should i read the back and then we, yeah let's, sure let's, go, go ahead it's, it's all, well okay now this is named suck guy okay great that's pretty original <laughs> well look at that how very convenient why, it seems like this mellow fellow here bears a striking resemblance to another contemporary set of characters that some of you may finally recall as the Melty Misfits. What joy! How truly serendipitous that this guy here, to remind you that, as of the time of this figure's release, there are still hundreds of boxes of trading cards still available at retail for a reasonable price. How very lucky that you, the fan, have multiple point-of-sale means in which to express your fandom. We take Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, Cash, Google Checkout, Wampum Booty, Ass Grass, etc., etc. I'm gonna cry. I figured he needed a little push on his cards. I, I do. We all do. Everybody needs a push. Everyone needs a push. Anyway, that's basically. That was considerate of you. Some of what? Thanks. I'm because I'm a kind person. You are. I've always said that about you. Yeah, and I figured, you know, that's a little flavor of what this shit is about. It was delicious. Yeah. Let's not spoil it for everybody. <laughs> All right, moving on. So, um, from 12 to 5, for those of you who, who cannot Keep be it a decon, and I know that not everyone can be there in lovely Pasadena, California. Lovely. And I know that you want to buy this whimsical clockwork villain, villain, and you want to call me on the phone. So, that's what I want you to do is call me on the phone. You want me to do that? You. If you want to. Well, you can just okay. come over and buy okay, one. Okay, okay. But you guys that are out there can call us at. 323-250-DECON. Get out of here. You have your own custom phone number? That's right. So call <laughs> us up, good. and we can sell you these over the phone. Again, that's from only from 12 to 5 Pacific Standard Time. If it time. was a toll-free number, then it'd be really awesome. Too bad. Next year. 323. <laughs> Doesn't everybody have like the nationwide unlimited? Yeah, there's no, there isn't, there is no just, long distance anymore. It just looks good on paper. You know, it one eight hundred suck okay. decon. <laughs> Leave the last N off for negligence. Savings. I don't know. <laughs> something for next year. Something to think of. Yeah. And I also want to note that if uh, there's other exclusive th that DKE has that we haven't talked about yet on this show, but that are coming up, you may be able to buy those as well. So just give a ring and please don't leave a message. We will not be returning any messages. If you leave a message, we're not calling you back. You have to get through and talk to a human. So that means people are going to have to dial and dial and over and over again. It's like a radio contest. Yeah. That's just, it's not a perfect world, but it the makes number is... more exciting. 323-250-DECON. Yay! Okay, so moving on. 3 p.m., we're doing a signing with all the artists of said figures uh, at the DKE booth. So any artists that are there, and if you wouldn't mind scrolling, uh, yes, yes, teleprompter please. person, uh, <laughs> The people that we have confirmed so far for this signing slash photo opportunity are oh. Billions McMillions, Buff Monster, Drill One, Dr. A. Dr. A is not going. He, he is, is going. going. That's not what he said at and Comic Con. He lied. He changed going. his mind. He's coming now. Oh, he's a rascally scoundrel, isn't he? <laughs> he's a whimsical clockwork villain. Dr. A, Frank Kozik, he's a Luke Chu, uh, October Toys, Paul Kaiju, Scott Tollison, Scott Wilkowski, and the Super Suck Lord. Whoa. Oh my god. That's a lot of people. How are you going to get through that entire That's line of photos? That's a lot of, of meat photos? in one room. It's just, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's cool. It's panoramic, you need your panoramic photo thing to happen. Yeah, Victoria's taking the photos. I don't have Done. to think about that. No, no. <laughs> uh, what about other people who weren't there? What does that what mean? What else can they do besides call in and buy things? 
They can watch. Well, we haven't gone to that yet. It's there. The Suckathon. Oh, the Suckathon <laughs> is going to be broadcasting live from 12 to 5, and they can watch it at home. Now, 12 to 5 Pacific Standard Time, but at toybreak.com. Hey, I know that site. What? <laughs> so, are you ready for that? Are you know, preparing mentally? I'm ready, yeah. You're always ready. No. Nah, this particular type of thing is somewhat effortless. I mean, I could sit here and... That's kind of right in your wheelhouse. Yeah, I like effortless things, but I mean, there's some things that are st a struggle. Being a dick. Being a dick comes easy to me. No, but, but it's not easy for everyone to do that talking thing. And lean in this way. You challenge. are very no, good at it. I, it's one, it's my one, one ability. So. You have one That's your alpha ability. ability. Oh, what are they? We can talk about Tell it. me more. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I like to you talk to You made a career people. out of crap. Okay. That's an ability. Crap. This is awesome. <laughs> you got other people to make shit for you. But That's an ability. I'm a I'm a natural born leader. <laughs> ability. <laughs> so are there other things going on at Suckcon? Hell's yeah. <laughs> we have the Sucklord retrospective art show. Well, that sounds fun. It's oh. called a losing proposition. <laughs> and how many years of stuff are we showing? Uh, two thousand. Uh, eight. Yeah, 2004 to 2000. That's eight wow. years. Eight years. Eight years of, of professional fail all on no. display. No. You're paying your rent. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> yeah. Unless you moved and you're living in a cardboard box now no, that no, I don't no, know. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm doing okay. See? But, you know, it's, it's, this is, this is my branding, okay, so I don't fuck around with it. <laughs> <laughs> You so, know. come see a losing proposition, the art show. It yes, is please. It's, also It's the most it's comprehensive your... psychedelic collection in, on earth. Yeah, from the secret archive. Yeah, I wonder Ooh. who's that belongs to. I have no idea. <laughs> Nobody knows. Yeah. It's secret. But also going on within SuckCon is an all day presentation the, the of. The Suck Cinema. Yeah, the Suck oh, Cinema. Suck Cinema. Yeah. It's the first three episodes of The Toy Lords of Chinatown. And the commercials, too. The classic commercials. So, if you are sitting there listening to some asshole on stage blather on and on and on to the point that you want to blow your brains out, you can get up and go watch that asshole's movies for a couple, <laughs> of, a couple of hours too if you want. You have a lot of choices. It's a never-ending day of fun. It'll be fun. We also have some merch. Yeah. Tell us about it. What can people buy? Well, we made a mug this year for the guests of the Suckathon. Ooh. Ah. How professional. I know. So that when they are a guest on the Suckathon. Oh, that's awesome. They can. Here you go. There's no such thing as awesome when you're talking about a mug. Well. Yes, it is. Look. It's a white mug with stupid pink Which print one's better? On it. Yours is better. What? A, it's black. It has <laughs> with the a couple of colors on it. I mean, granted, the logo should have been on, one, on both sides, not on the front, because... <laughs> It defeats the whole purpose, except the person sitting next to you. Right. You're, oh, you're you're right now? See, that was smart thinking, because there's probably nobody sitting there. It's spin. That's another ability you have. Yeah, I can make shit. I like to hold my mugs like this. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so yours these, are, these are just perfect. Well, that's for us. so you're an asshole for that. Anyway, we have a, another stupid mug. What are so those? So we're go selling for? those mugs for ten bucks. Ten bucks for a mug? GTFO. <laughs> that's a way better deal than last year's toilet paper. Let me tell you. Oh. There's text on the toilet paper too. Actually. All right, so on the mug, disembodied voice on the side. <laughs> Shut up. Steve. One side of the mug says, "I was a guest on the Suckathon Volume Two, and all I got was this stupid fucking mug, Coffee psychedelic." Mug. And then the other side says, I'm an asshole for drinking this. So you can it's look branding. at that while you're it's drinking. You're like, I look am. It up. <laughs> I'm an asshole. And if you didn't see the Suckathon last year, ta-da! You can catch up. Here it is, all five plus hours. Completely. Almost completely unedited. Almost completely uncut. And oh, it's been edited? Uncensored. Just, what did you edit this out? This much. Just beginnings and endings and barely anything. <laughs> okay, right. But anyway, Dead tiny, tiny. I don't know tiny. who the hell would watch that but i know i know people. i know someone who's watched it at least five times all the way through i know who that is <laughs> jim wait no from the four horse so oh yeah 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 <laughs> yeah that's right uh what's up with that he loves it he loves why you. 
I don't know. He's watched it five times. This one will be... Look, at this is like legit. It looks pretty good, I gotta say. Two disc set. It this looks happened. better in person than it, it looks on my... only says fuck you that many times. <laughs> <laughs> I need to fill up this face. Let me see. <laughs> That's this pretty looks amazing. really authentic. It, like it's a real thing. It's, it's <laughs> pretty pro, right? I don't deserve it. Yeah, you do. No, All that's right. true. Maybe you're right. Well, so, it's cool, and I would like to thank whoever financed this. I somebody, somebody. I don't know who would do that. It's pretty official. I hope they make the money back. I really do. <laughs> you might. You might. For so posterity. if you buy these, support this project, and then uh, hopefully next this year's can go on DVD, too. Wow, yeah. it's almost like the that print nice. is in Boston. Yeah, that would be nice. Here. So we're selling these for 15 bucks. Excellent. 15 bucks. That seems so really reasonable. Two I mean, there's a lot of other ways you can waste 15 bucks, so at least... You know. Hours of entertainment. Yeah, five hours. Yeah. <laughs> you could read the guest list. If you want. All right, let's. Who was on this? Everybody. Who said that? What? Um, featuring Angry Robots, Brant Peters, Buff Monster, Chris Reiniak, that grimy rat, um, Doctor A, Drill One, <laughs> Gary Baseman, J. Ru, somebody fucked up the placement of the asterisk. Jesse Hernandez, <laughs> Jim Mafood. Uh, Joe Ledbetter, K. No, Kathy Olivius, Lucifer, Luke Chu, Paul Kaiju, Ragnar, Scott Tollison, Scott Wolkowski, Sket One, and many more. You were busy. Whoever the fuck those people are. You were busy. I think I, mean, I was busy. That, that was a lot of people. Me too. Of all star <laughs> oh, yeah. motherfuckers. You too. Yeah. Hey, we were. We were, we were, the, many, we're the many more. more. You're we don't there, count. Yeah. We'll get. We we'll don't count. Yeah, well, <laughs> People, so, people take it for granted. Okay. I think there's even more happening at Sakan. Oh, there's if so you, much. It's okay. You're going to make what it. What about You're this gonna little make guy? It. You guys already reviewed that. Oh, I know, but we had what if somebody didn't one? see it? They haven't, we haven't reviewed it on this show. Okay, no. now we're really moving but on But if you haven't to watched Toy Girls, youtube.com slash Toy Break. So this was on Toy Girls, but it was never on Toy Break, so let's talk about this for a second. Yeah, let's talk um, about it. This kind of looks a little bit like you. Apparently it is me and her. <laughs> So you can also get this at the suck con. What is it? It's a talking plush suck lord. And here it goes. Psychedelic, the best and the worst at the same time. I'm compact, economical, and proud. Being tall is whack. Why would anybody <laughs> want that? Because it's two-sided? Well. Yeah, just like me. <laughs> I adore how well the chip was made. Like, it Curious. really sounds like you. We can open it. You're a legend. You're obligated to be legendary. Shut up, you. <laughs> it is pretty cool, though. How fun was that, making all those recordings? It was a nightmare. I hated it. But No, you're supposed to say it was amazing and fun. Oh, yeah, it was great. No, Suckler Talking Doll designed by Gary Ham. Let's give him props. Gary Ham, yeah. Gary. Collector's item only. This is not a toy. It's not designed or made for children, not for use or handling by anyone under the age of 15. A lot of restrictions here. Uh, this product has not been tested for lead, philanthates, or other hazardous or potentially harmful materials. Contains adult content. May cause insanity. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. I don't remember writing this. The batteries in this thing are going to die one day, sucker. So try to be conservative. You're an asshole for buying this. So really, just one day, it's just going to shut up for good? I hope just so. Just like you. Thank God. <laughs> Well, I guess it has some novelty appeal. Uh, at least it's cracking you up, even though you wrote it. <laughs> I, dude, dude, I it's laughed at my, in my face. It's so funny on the tag, everywhere. too. <laughs> Squeeze my hand to be insulted by the super suck lord. Me and the suck lord's a full-time gig. You don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so the nerve of this guy. The hubris. <laughs> All right, let's not give away all the same. <laughs> so, <laughs> so in okay. addition to be able to buy that for $25, mm -hmm. you may also be able to win it. Winning. At the <laughs> Suck Carnival. The Suck Carnival? My God, what is that? Well, we're still ironing out the details, but there's going to be uh, two two carnival games. Ooh. And I think Simeon's going to run them. Nice. He's going to be the barker. And we're going to have two two games that you can play, you know, at least one of them is going to involve sticking something up somebody's ass. Obviously. And there might be cocks or rats, I don't know. And uh, if you win, it's going to be one of those Together? type of bullshit games where, like, when you think you won, you get, like, a bullshit... <laughs> finger trap? Like a Chinese yeah, finger trap? Yeah, and then, trap. like, you got to win again and trade that in to get something else. So you're going to really have to 
stand there like a dick for a few hours playing <laughs> dick toss. To but get it's the plush. close to the suckathon, so while they're standing in line waiting like an asshole, they can listen to you. Mm -hmm. Hey man, this world is full of masochists, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, or you might want to keep the suck trash. You might, because it might wind up being more valuable than that thing. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think it's going to be a success. Yeah. Uh. Oh, and everyone with a badge can play once for free. Isn't that yes. everybody in the entire con? That's everyone. That, we're like giving the shit con. away. We're trying to make money. What the fuck? Are we stamping I didn't make the badges? Rules. Okay, I guess we're stamping badges oh, now. Oh, cool. So now you get a collectible stamp Put on your badge. Put a stamp on the master list, Sarah Jo. Okay. <laughs> Moving <laughs> on. Magic. Out of There's Subcon. No <laughs> is the DKE fourth annual graveyard and garage sale fourth already? I can't believe it. And this you is guys where still have more that's shit to sell. That's my favorite part of the whole. Fucking we have time. so much stuff to sell, and it's all it. It can be really fun. It's like broken toys, broken vinyl toys, and then other stuff that you can dig through. Old open, unpack, open, like, who knows? and Star Wars toys, and I almost said Trader Joe's, GI Joe's, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Trader Joe's. What other kinds it of things? It is the Trader Joe's of, of broken. Final toy. <laughs> I don't and, know what that means. And we donate uh, the proceeds to the L.A. Fire Department Spark of Love toy program, bringing more toys to lovely L.A. children that need stuff. Yay. So, Even um, I can get behind that. Yeah. Right? So you're supporting a good cause. So come buy our junk and help kids get toys. New junk Why not just give the junk stuff. to the kids? Well, we rather they have better stuff. Right. So we're hooking that up. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else is happening? That'd be the worst if you're a kid and you get a broken toy and <laughs> yeah. like a nice. I would rather have a big pile of broken toys than a plate of footsie. So we also have some exclusives for the Ooh. show. Get this bullshit off the table. What is that? Okay. George has a box. George, yeah, George put, put why this you, in your box. Why don't you crate that up? I was so, just gonna talk about putting in the box. I took. Uh, I went ahead and opened this already okay. because there's a lot of uh, oh. packaging, but you should note or see that even the outer box of this is like pretty crazy gorgeous. That's really awesome, yeah. They even have um, their own tape, tape wow. that says Hell Lotus on it. So this That's is the crazy. Hell Lotus by Mighty Jacks. This thing looks awesome. I'm just going to dump it out. That's what she said. Oh, Pull this way. Okay. I, I actually Somebody opened that to, as well. Okay, perfect. I'll just hold this box. There. Okay. Um, oh, that's Are it. we opening it? Yeah, it we can open it. Awesome. Open it. It's fun to look at it. What's these things? I don't actually know. Oh, so that he can give the finger or not. Oh. He has different hand things. That's cool. You might want to play with them. Okay. Here. Thanks. Um, so this is an edition of 25. Those are the it's, fucking car too. It's the Dark is, Emerald Hell Lotus. Do you download Lotus. the theme song with this? The artist is, by, <laughs> the artist is Clog 2. It's produced by Mighty Jacks, and they're $135 each. And they're going to go for up uh, release when the show opens at 9 a.m. Nice. Oh, one fits in Is there. this an exclusive oh. color for the con? It is. Cool. Well, yeah. Isn't that cute? Dark Emerald. It's pretty. Uh, it Look at the detail. Bad. It's really nicely made. Isn't it lovely? And it does. Do you know what's in here? It's got a wax seal and everything. There's something in here. It has a wax seal. It's also in green. I'm going to leave it shut. I'm speculating that well, it's going to be. What do you mean you're going to leave it shut? We only got 25. Yeah, it's limited. So, what are you going to sell this one? It's limited. You want to open it? Okay. The off screen presence says to open it. I wish I had a better, maybe a scissor. Maybe you could just break the seal instead of. No, it's totally glued. And now it's this. Wax. Oh, oh just, now it's broken it's forever. Oh, no, it's really you broke. said open it. All right, it's totally fucked. All right, now it's in the junk sale. Oh. <laughs> Who cares? Now it's like words. That's not what I would have what, done. What, this isn't what I was supposed to do? No, it's like a print, dude. <laughs> Fuck you guys. How much does this thing cost? That now $135. Wow, all right. This one's 120 Fucking sorry. I anyway, know. it comes with a really nice print. And this, it came I with think, a really nice print. I think this is a sticker. Fuck. Oh, nice. <laughs> so feel free to jump in wherever you like, jerk. How about and... I won't do that anymore? Okay. That's you guys good. do the fucking show yourself. <laughs> We're so happy that you're here and glad that you could come on the show. This is actually really I cool. Mean, attend I mean, the couch. Yeah. I think someone won't mind having one, even if it has the little open. You know what? Piece. I'll sign it, and then it'll go up in value another ten bucks, <laughs> and we can nice. even it out. Okay? I'll nice. own it. And then Somebody's gonna out. want that. Somebody. Somebody. But I bet this isn't all you have. 
Um, well, we might have a red vinyl, a red clear vinyl Malbus. Whoa, by Frank Kozik, which we. I've heard that before. We might have had, <laughs> maybe we were supposed to have that at San Diego Comic Con, and maybe we're supposed to have it at Designer Con, and welcome to maybe it will toys. actually be there. But if it's actually there, <laughs> it'll be there at 9 a.m. Um, it's three hundred dollars, and we have, we might have twenty-five pieces. What is it? It's a clear red vinyl Malbus. What's a Malbus? Mal. Oh, Malbus. Mal. Oh, okay. It's, it's a Malbus. It's about this tall. It's very attractive. Cool. Maybe. 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 If you want it, just come check and see if we actually Watch the got it. Or call three two three. What was it? Yeah. I bet you're gonna two five zero decon. Decon. Ta da! <laughs> also, I bet you would tweet about it. I would tweet about it at Sarah Joe. Mm-hmm. Or Instagram. DKE.com slash blog. Yes, all those. DKToys.com slash blog. Oh, moving on. So 11 a.m. <laughs> we have the release of the Mouse Mask Murphy by Scott Wachowski. Oh, nah, 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 nah. I don't have one here. Okay. But Mouse Mask Murphy was a toy. Oh, you're saying that. That's Mouse amazing. Mask Murphy <laughs> by Ron English. And it's an edition of 50, split Whoa. into two colors, black and red. They're $250 each. The plane that came with this original toy, Did you know, we could have brought a plane, but mm. anyway, it's sitting in a vinyl plane. So the yes. plane is black and that's special and was only made for this particular thing. Fancy. So there's that. How much is it? Uh, $250. And the planes are made by What's Zach this? Pack. And that goes on sale at the DKE booth 124 at 11 a.m. All right. So you got to be here all day at this thing. Uh, yes, I do. It's going not to be you. what People. I'm calling People the fastest day there. of my life. Okay. <laughs> and it's not over yet. No. At 2 p.m. we have this. Beautiful. Which people were asking about. Looks like a sponge. It, like Can a I sea ask sponge. about it? Please do. What the hell is it? It's a labbit skeleton. Oh, shit. Word. So you heard of the Frank Kozik labbit. I might have. Yeah, I thought so. It's been around. Well, Scott Wilkowski made these labbits that we've shown a few times that we've sold at conventions. And that is the skeleton that's been inside the Oh, you're the selling resin. the skeleton by itself? By itself. Look at how Shit. cool it is. So it's, it's The Scott Wilkowski guy is kind of spreading himself a little thin this time around, isn't he? <laughs> Think he's going to finish it all in time? Well, a girl can hope. No butthole, though. Hmm. Skeletons don't really have buttholes, do they? Not no. a place where the butthole would be, though. That's the tail, but like he would lift his tail and the butthole would happen. Yeah. I don't know about that. That's how it would happen. So one complaint from George Gaspar. Poor design. Only one? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Poor design. <laughs> this does Looks look like an pretty skeletal, I'll give it that. Well, we have an edition of 50, and they're mm -hmm. $50 each. They go on sale at 2 p.m. Again, DKE Toys Booth 124. Nice. I hope that eventually you'll sell all of the skeletons that were inside all of those things, because they were awesome. And you can't really even see them covered in all that resin. But Jeez, the sculpting job he did on them are amazing. Sick. Yeah, it's really great. I mean, a, a lot of people have been asking about that on my various social networks. Uh, what, like Instagram? Uh, like Instagram or anything. And uh, it, it's is cool, it right? approved? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. The sculpting's pretty amazing. Tell us what Wachowski figure you like, and we'll, maybe, you'll maybe make there'll it be next. another one. <laughs> <laughs> Come tell them at DKE, booth 124. Yeah. Also... One last thing that you need to be there for is probably the most important thing of the day. <laughs> <laughs> most likely. At 4 p.m. on the stage. On the main stage, not the, main stage. the suckadelic stage. Not that guy's stage. Oh, what, my stage. shit isn't on the main stage? No, yours is on the suck. Yours on the suck con stage. stage. You have your own stage. It's all you. Nice deflection. <laughs> <laughs> on the main stage at 4 p.m., Toy Girls! That's us. Boom, right there. Sarah Joe and Aileen, again, that's us. Uh, we will be having some guests and talking girls and toys and mm -hmm. fun stuff. So if you're sick of hearing the Suck Lord talk, go listen to them talk. Come, <laughs> listen, <laughs> come listen to us. Girls <laughs> talking. <laughs> <laughs> talking about <laughs> stuff for a while. Why isn't it called Toy Women? It just doesn't have that. It doesn't, it doesn't roll ring. Off the tongue. Like, would you rather watch Toy Girls or Toy Women? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Great market research. Is, Thank that a, you. is that a trick question? You want both? Can I pick neither? Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying, theoretically. Doors right over there. <laughs> nah, I, Toy Girls is cute. Because we're cute. Listen, I just realized that if I say one more thing, <laughs> you won't it's going to be misconstrued. So 
<clears throat> I wish you guys nothing but the best. In fact, you. while you're doing your thing, I'm going to take a break and shut up. What? I need to see the fucking con, too. Hmm. I got to sit on that fucking stage all day talking, talking, talking. Yeah. I don't get to look at any fucking things. You got to no. make the DVD for you next year. It, you want it fucking noon, noon, dude. You have hours you have two in the hours. morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's the DKE suck con, decon extravaganza thing that's happening. It's going to be pretty good, I think. I think so, it's going to be amazing. And your so. break is at three for a photo signing. <laughs> <laughs> DesignerCon.com, all the details, events happening, all this mm -hmm. stuff. DKToys.com slash blog, mm -hmm. all the stuff that you guys have. Anything up on Psychedelic right now? What? It, yeah. Uh, DesignerCon, I guess. You guess? <laughs> News about that. Excellent. So no, Psychedelic. I haven't done anything com. fucking new in a million years. Well, you've been busy. New York Comic Con. Yeah, that D sucked Con. so bad. But yeah. <laughs> Isn't that I a good thing? I hated New York Comic Con. What? Isn't sucking a good thing? No, you get know, it, no, brand? Yeah, Branding. I get it. No, he's, you missed the subtle nuance. <laughs> 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 but it's fine. It's, I don't have time to explain it. I'm well, like, then I'm like Paul wait, Ryan before, with his budget. Before we leave the news section here, because that was all news, uh, I also want to announce news. to me at um, at Skybound. If you go to Skybound.com, the it's the comic book company that puts out The Walking Dead. They have an exclusive set, a three-pack of the Michonne and uh, Slave zombies that she walks with. Mm -hmm. So you could go get them in gray at the Skybound site. Don't go to eBay. Go to their site and get That's them directly. That's a decon exclusive? Why? No, no, this is a, this is a website exclusive. Why are we talking Skybound. about that? Because uh, this was sculpted by October Toys. Oh, and, give uh, me that shit. So now <laughs> you can go your get your very own. style. And was it really, it was it sculpted by October Toys or was it sculpted by you? We, this is October Toys. You sculpted these two? We're no, October but... Toys. I do everything except the sculpting. Okay. Well, How do you think those get into the country? The sculptings look, the sculptings <laughs> look pretty good, I gotta say. <laughs> good sculptings. Well, October Toys thanks you. Yeah. <laughs> Stand that up proper. All right, well, I think it's blind box time. All right, let's do it. I love blind box time. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <laughs> DKE has a Facebook page now. Ooh. And you should go Ooh, on lolly. and like us. Right? That's what you yes. do on Facebook is you like us. Do you have a Facebook.com slash? DKE, DKE, DKE. Whoa, triple DKE. I Whoa. Know. So that's there. And you can like us and you can see pictures and we've been updating it and all the time. So That's awesome. You're really yeah. good with that updating the blog shit. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now it's blind box time. All right, let's get into it. All right, boom. Today we have... Punk Star Frenzies. These are cute. Do I get one too? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, these are by Tokidoki. They're tiny. I don't really know a lot about them, except they're from the Punk Star line. Who the are the newer. Punk Stars? It's I guess we're going to find newest out. newest family of characters. They're not, they don't look like the Bastardino or the little like animals. They look more like people. Is that bad? You want to get a different one? Like fucking chocolate. <laughs> Is it chocolate flavored? So all the fucking weird beers. First one tastes like fucking blueberries. This one tastes like chocolate. Why don't you just get some good old fashioned American shit? Beer Lao? Let's open these things. Well, yeah. which one do you want? I want the little cat if they make it. I don't want any of them. Uh, yeah, I don't trash. either. Oh, the dog. No, I want the dog. I don't really know. I want the trash can that's on the bottom of the flap. I want the one that I can flip for the most money. <laughs> I kind of like this mohawk guy. These Look guys. The mohawk guy. Signature bag, signature open. Ugh, ugh, smells bad. Apparently they smell You're one horrible. of those toy huffers, aren't you? I am a toy huffer. Toy huffers! That's a new show. Let's make that. <laughs> um, I got a kid oh. wearing a hat with a braid, or no, a mohawk. I got I you. <laughs> <laughs> we all got She's something different. Cute. That's nice. Oh, cute. This is oh, that's all I wanted. Stupid. What is it? <laughs> that's a cat. It's like, are you, like, good friends with this dude? No. Okay. Um... Even if we were, you're allowed to say what you want. What is this? It's What's cute. Punk lean about in this? here and tell us about it. What's punk about this? Mine it's says got punk on it. Colored hair. Look at how tough my dog is. I know 14-year-old Girl. girls really like this shit. Totally. It's cool. He's a nice guy. I just think it's too cute for me. It. This is a zipper pull. It has no what edge is this thing? Whatsoever. A zipper pull? I guess it's a zipper pull or a phone, phone charm. Phone charm. I guess you could. It's both, really, because it has this yeah, little thing, so you could. I'll be honest. I don't class. care about these. Where do they come from? Tokidoki. Thanks for sending these, Tokidoki. Uh, actually, yeah, we just by 3D shit retro. all over. 3D yeah. Retro. So sorry. 3D Retro, if you want to get time. them. So, if you want some crap to hang from your stuff, 3DRetro.com. 
I think they're pretty cute. I didn't get well any of these ones that look like they could have been neat, like the guy with the mohawk, or the dude that looks like Vivian from the young ones. I love this one. <laughs> Has a cape. It's like if you have to write punk on it, then it's not punk. <laughs> I'm I sorry. Get, I can agree with that. I can get behind that. Can you get behind reviews? Is there time Sorry, to do reviews yeah, in this episode? Some As if this guy really is going to be affected one way or other by our review. Oh, no, he doesn't care. That we did. It's funny. It is. Let's talk about it. So this was from New York Comic Con. This is the Ardman Batman by DC Collectibles, designed by Rich Weber and sculpted by Phil Ramirez. This action figure is based on the shorts shown during the DC Nation on Cartoon Network, created by the British brains behind the film, Wallace and Gromit. Nick Park, right? Isn't that the dude's name? Mm -hmm. You could tell his shit instantly. Yeah. It's so easy to open. No, is that a, <laughs> you learned something. What from are you software. criticizing me? No. Am I opening techniques? No, I have trouble opening things. That's how I open everything. I rip it. Oh, you'd know that if you watch the show. Oh. I watch the episodes I'm on. <laughs> the important episodes. Those are the ones I don't watch. Oh. It's okay. One twist. Oh, he's heavy. I really want to see this. He's like. Grippy, like you could stab somebody with him. And it comes with a cornflake. It, <laughs> it looks like one of those candy bats they put on a cupcake. And you're like, ah, don't eat this. We saw a toy spider in the street today, and I was like kicking it. Like, is it real? How, how'd that work out? Halloween. <laughs> What's really cool about this is it actually looks like it's made out of clay. Yeah. yeah. Like, it doesn't look all smooth and no, it has that. I'm not sure why it's not rotocast, though. It looks like a dick. <laughs> What is What's it? What's that? Shut up, voice? Steve. Steve. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> uh, what do you think about It's really super rough. It's, I like it. it does it's the Batman like symbol, but his head is elongated to match. Oh. I don't know who the hell you're married to. But <laughs> <laughs> that ain't aiding my marriage shit. <laughs> That's fucking things up. Because you know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah? Just don't. <laughs> Just don't go there. Uh, so My this girlfriend only has this bucks. proclivity. That's not bad. How much? Twenty-five. Oh, bargain. Totally a bargain. That is pretty cool. I mean, I, and it like looks it's... like you made it. It <laughs> looks like the guy himself actually sculpted it. But yeah, that's the thing is, it's very like is it is thing. what it is. You're like, I clearly know it that that's a Wallace what Gromit. It is. Shut your mouth. <laughs> like you look at it and you're like, oh, that looks like Wallace and Gromit. Yeah. But it doesn't. When I look at that thing, I don't look like, oh, this looks like a plastic Oops. toy. It looks like. Is that the actual prop from the show? Hmm. Yeah. No? And you can be like, yeah, it is. I got that. Fool yeah, your I friends. Fool your friends. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> my, all my, my friends are hard to fool. Your friends? I have associates. <laughs> I have colleagues. All right, what else do we have? Uh, what's next? This was sent in. I can't pronounce this. Pandemio. Panda... <laughs> Panda Imyo. Panda I'm yo. Panda I'm yo. This was sent to us um, from Art Attack Toys. Art Attack Toys. It claims to be a mini key. It does claim, although it is a larger than regular key. So I'm not sure how that naming convention works. Anybody? Oh, grab you bunch. Okay. <laughs> Now's a party. <laughs> Looks like John Paul Kaiser. That's what it, I was is John Paul it is John Paul Kaiser. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. Oh, okay. So this was done by John Paul Kaiser and Toy 2R, of course. It is an ArtAttackToys.com exclusive Fire Clan Bear 5-inch mini key, limited to 300 pieces. It goes for $28. That's pretty cool. I think all the mini keys go for $28. Nice. Yeah, that's their that's the that's price the for all of them. So I didn't realize it was an exclusive for them. That's great. It's kind of toys. cool as John Paul Kaiser, but it's got color on it. Yeah. Because, you know, all of his stuff's, you know, kind of sketchy and black and white. He but... does do, he throws some color in sometimes. Like the, and I like that, it. And that Star Wars stuff he did, he had, like, the Boba Fett had red on it. And... Yeah. Oh, Boba yeah. It's, <laughs> it's very um, samurai-ish. Although I would like to know how to properly pronounce that. Pandiamo? Oh, you did that well. You Pandiamo. Win. Oh, he's Italian? He's an I Italian Italian. Samurai. I am Italian. It's no, really Italian. nice. Oh. I mean, we just saw his show in, in New York, and the the drawings or the, the paintings on there like looks really good. Captures it translates well to the toy. Definitely. Thank you, George. That's what you were going for. That's what I'm. Saying. And it's yeah, really it's cleanly made. Yeah, in over six million forms of communication. <laughs> <laughs> 
You just got called the lamest character ever. What right. else do you have? That, that looks like is. something from ESP Toy. Why, it is, Sarah Jo. It must be more art than toy. Like. Uh, so you can always tell theirs because it's extra overwrapped than it needs to be. What does that mean? Like, he always it's has it in, like, all these extra, like... It's like a present. Does it have its own lanyard? <laughs> is it kind of pretentious to call your own art art? I don't think hmm. so. No? What else do you call oh, it? You heard that. <laughs> that was so stupid tacos you made me eat. <laughs> um, so this is scissors. Aldera and Sama. Oh, you can here. Uh oh. I, I think, think I can do that. About to get crazy right now. I think I can do that. I'd, I'd rather. Hmm. Oh, maybe not. You want Suckler to do it? Something sharp. Here. Here, use this hair. Before it, no, before it. Oh. oh, I was just trying to not get that everywhere. Already happened. This. It's snowing up uh, there. That's part of the rummage sale now. Uh, yeah. It's not broken, just the plastic. Oops. God, you guys. Worse. Hey, Eric Scarecrow, your boxes suck. Oh, you got little ball, purple balls. Is that something in there? No. It's like blue balls, but purple. It sure seems like more garbage than toy. Damn. Is that the logo? Being really hard on this guy. <laughs> so, here, you can unwrap that right, while yeah, I talk cool. about it. Thanks. This is I hate is foam this? packing. Like I was maybe why I hate resin hey, toys. Hey, but you know what? You would hate it more if this thing was broken in three pieces. Are you hiding behind that? Well, if it was made out of plastic and it was a real toy. Piece of tissue. This okay. is better than in a case real you need toy. It. It's, it's really art. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not saying that, but and that's a whole nother comment. This is kind of the logo says it though. It looks good. Well, I kind of like this actually. It's, it's all like smooth. Yeah. There's a resin there. huffer. There we go. That's, this is good. I like it. So yeah. this is from ESC Toy and Fromby. It's a hand painted three and a half inch resin collaboration Looks piece. Good. I believe it went for twenty dollars. It was either twenty or thirty. No, Only it was it was twenty bucks. It was twenty I bucks. It. bucks. I got it at New York Comic Con. Twenty bucks. Twenty Dude, bucks. Dude, yeah. that's not where enough was money. That, where was that made? Uh, probably made in China and hand painted here. Probably. What slave painted those? Well, I mean, yeah. there's like three or four colors on there. Yeah. And how much did the person that painted that get paid? I didn't ask any of that. I, I just gave my twenty bucks. Rhetorical questions. I'm just saying. <laughs> also, look at I how just like can't believe it. very few bubbles in that clear. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a nice, it's a great resin piece, I think. Yeah. It's and pretty. there's other versions of this which you can get right now at ESCToy.com. That doesn't surprise me at all. I really like that clear candy, sort of candyish version. When I saw it in the display and it was only twenty bucks, I was like, "Yeah, I, how can I pass that out?" I wish it tasted that I great. like resin toys, you know, not just because they feel more substantial. I mean, this just something going on here. And, uh, oops! I mean, this is nice and everything, but this material just seems more. Oops! Like you're gonna drop it? Well, you know, it feels a little factory. This feels more arty. Legit. Or just, I don't it's, know. It's this is more art than toy? Is that what you're saying? Well, I, this is a whole other conversation. I think we've <laughs> argued about this shit before. We did. You know? I was just trying to work as logo. I mean, there's art with a capital A, and then there's lowercase art, which this would definitely pass for. I, you know, Wait, I, just, I don't know about this capitalization thing. What do you have going on with that? I, you know, I mean, art, if you want to talk about, like, real art, like... You're you talking know, MoMA, like Mona MoMA versus fucking... Possibly. Toys R Us. Toys yeah, R Us. possibly. Uh, you know, but I mean, even in this level, there's stratas. And I just feel like what what I think is interesting about, what I think, what I find appealing about certain things is just the clean these lines human touch, I suppose, or just like the sort of, there's something. Like Bruce Springsteen? There's a soul touch? to it? You know what? Fuck you guys. Well, I'm here, let me ask you this. Keep it real. No, I like it. <laughs> the on. artist that sculpted this behind, that, behind this rarely this gets... Behind any kind of action figure, rarely gets any notice or recognition, but there's still artists behind it. Like this, Phil Ramirez, the guy that sculpted this, mm -hmm. has sculpted hundreds and hundreds of toys. Mm -hmm. and he's an amazing sculptor, but most people don't even know who Phil Ramirez is because he doesn't go around saying, my toys are art. So is that, should he be? Should he be out there saying, my toys are art? No, and I mean, I think that, that that's a whole slippery slope, but I'm just, I'm maybe comparing the toys that come out of this particular art or movement you know, oh, as compared to, like, Toys You Buy and Toys R Us. Right. You know, and that just, like, what I think is most interesting is the things that are more personal oh. or show a certain oh, level of trying. craft or things that go a little beyond, you know, tip the typical, you know, that either have the artist's hand in it or just show a certain, you know, mastery of, of materials and stuff like that. And I, I tend to gravitate 
towards those things more than something that just feels like kind of just like a piece of plastic. So does this mean more to you even though it was made in a factory? Like, it... Yeah, I mean, A, I like all these weird scratches on the bottom and just like, you know, just the type, the type of material. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like a plastic toy. It does kind of feel like a sculpture. So even if a resin toy is a factory made resin toy, it's still better than, it's still means more to you than say something else not, spe not specifically but in this case yes. right right i mean i'm not you know i mean it just also depends and also i'm talking out my ass but you know it's like i don't know i just feel like the thing the things that have little flaws in them or just little strange peculiarities are a little more interesting to me than things that are totally perfect and economical but what do i know <laughs> everything i make is terrible and i'm a dick so you know <laughs> take it with a grain of salt and with that, I think we should on to events. I was just wondering if there's an event coming up called Designer Con. Why, yes, there is. I saw it on the teleprompter. It's an annual, what teleprompter? We've memorized all this. Oh, didn't we just talk about this? Well, in case <laughs> they forgot. Maybe the, the, the folks that are just tuning the in. The people that are just tuning in now at the <laughs> Somebody end. Somebody just walked into the room and they want to know about the annual art and design convention that smashes together collectible toys and designer apparel with urban underground and pop art at the Pasadena Convention Center in none other than Pasadena, California on November 3rd, designercon.com for the most up-to-date event list, exclusives list. There's so many exclusives. Yeah, for the list of everything that's happening, just watch the beginning of this episode. But there's more happening than <laughs> There's so much that. more. Oh, God. Like that's what? one okay, vendor. I, I shut up. I'm ruining this episode. <laughs> That's one vendor out of hundreds. And don't forget, if you're staying in town for the week, or if you're in L.A. anyway, come to the weekend after DesignerCon, come to KV's American Cousins and check out these exclusive full pictures. Actually, by the time this goes up, Holly might have released the full pictures. I just saw one picture everybody. today that I was like, oh. Oh, yeah? Oh. Whose was it? Luke Chu. Oh, adorable. KV, Luke Chu. Oh. Yep. Cut up. Cut. Bloody. Bloody. So. KV's American Cousins. It's a plush party at the Cat and Fiddle Pub in Hollywood, California on November 10th. HeyKV.com for more information. Basically what's happening is there's auctions for plush KV collaborations with a bunch of different artists, including 64 Colors, Beast Brothers, Camilla D'Erico, Chris Reiniak, Drill One, Frank Kozik, Luke Chu, Mochi Mochi, Onel Design, uh, Scott Tolleson, Scat One, and Angry Wobots. They all go live on November 3rd, which is DesignerCon. Hello. And they conclude the following Saturday at this event, uh, there'll be big teleprompters on November 10th. At the Cat and Fiddle. Yeah, at the Cat and Fiddle. Oh. Morrissey held the door for me once there. No way. Yeah. How nice of him. I was like, Why? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> did you do that? Not did you do what she just did? <laughs> I didn't actually. Thank no, God. I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's Man, it. You're a Let's jerk. wrap it up. But it says that's it, and then there's more shit. So what's up? Because that's it for the toys. Oh. Now we're on to business. Okay. Now you hear the dumb wrap up. All right, let's see how fast we can do let's this. Let's throw a golden nugget at the end of the wrap up to make them all listen to it. That sounds gross. What does that mean? You'll yeah. see. Well, don't forget, you can save money with Toy Break coupons online, many different retailers. Check the show notes at toybreak.com for complete details and links to everything we talk about in the show notes. You can also watch past episodes, join the contest on the forum, all sorts of wonderful things. You can also support the show by doing your Amazon shopping. Just click on the Amazon link on toybreak.com, do your shopping. That is awesome. Super helps support the show. You can also call and leave us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us, info at toybreak.com. You can keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can catch our briefs and full episodes and toy girls at youtube.com slash toybreak. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. At Sarah Jo. I have a Instagram too, so. What, what is, is it? it? Suck Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what else would it be? Which I basically just got the certificate of fucking trademarking, y'all. No, you didn't. Did you? You got shit. a little check mark? I got the thing with the gold stamp. It says what? Suck Lord. That's so awesome. don't try to bite it. That's awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm going to have five it's for expensive. that. It's <laughs> expensive. I'm sure it was. Yeah. That's really cool, though. Um, and now here's your golden nugget. All right. So the golden nugget is you were just the host of the second annual Designer Toy Awards. Right. Wait, what, this is directed at me? Yeah, I'm, I'm asking you a question. It's a, what is a golden nugget? None know, of us just, know. All right, fine. Go ahead. Sorry. There was no, there was no I, I, actual I'm, I'm golden nugget. Go on. What? what? Um, 
I, I want to get your opinion of the event after being the host. Like, how did you feel? Was it? Did, did you enjoy yourself? Was it a? Was it a good time? Would Is you do it relevant? again? Yeah, I'd do it again. And I want to know uh, how did you feel? Like, you know, there was a time when you were making a couple of what the audience deemed racy comments. I thought they were funny. I didn't think anything was inappropriate. But I heard the entire audience boo at one point at a comment you made. I want to know how that made you feel. Um, <laughs> do I not remember that? You were drunk. Was I this don't the know. Ch- No, it was not. <laughs> um. <laughs> Because it was obviously meant as was a joke, and it came off thing? as funny, but the whole crowd was like, ooh. Is this the Chuck Dog thing? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't give a shit. Good. There's your golden nugget. There's your golden nugget. Thanks for watching. Well, I don't think that was enough. I think... You want more. I think our you guests want some should take Look, it's almost an hour already. I could go on for fucking another half an hour We'll if you save want. it for decon. Yeah. Whatever. You know what? If you don't like it, too bad. I'm sorry, all right? I'm fucking sorry. Now here's your fucking toy break. <laughs>